So here it is. It's outside. I'll explain these sanded down bits and these primers bits in a minute. But there it is, completely down. Welcome to another Saturday morning. This time on the TT. So obviously you guys thought I was getting rid of it. I'm still on the edge of whether I'm going to get rid of it or not. But there's a reason why you're seeing the, the title as it is. And there's a reason why I'm here at uh, Mallory Performance. So first of all, we'll do a massive shout out to Mallory Performance because they are not only do I work here, um, sort of on a part-time basis, but also they are letting me use this unit here and with help from their expert rapper at Mallory Performance as well, I will hopefully be learning how to wrap the car properly and we'll get a better finish on the car as well and we're going to change the colour of the Audi TT. There it is, it's all out already. The, the TT is going to be colour changed. So the TT is in there. The guys have already gone absolutely crazy on it at the minute, but we're going to, I'll walk in the door now. I'll show you what it is. We'll just get straight into it. So basically we're just going to be stripping the full camo off today, getting it prepped for being rewrapped. And maybe in this video I'll show you the colour, but there's probably a lot of prepping to do and a lot of de-wrapping and hopefully it's not damaged the paint underneath. So let's go in here. Here it is. Look, they've already gone absolutely crazy on it. Now this might, this might be an absolute shock to all you viewers, but so just right now, half the camo is pretty much, pretty much nearly, well, all of the camo has nearly been taken off. Um, there's a door left. They've left the bonnet for me. They've left the front bumper, but it's sort of half camo. Few panels are not, few panels are. Um, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna move the car, we're gonna get it completely prepped up, take off all the wrap, give it a good clean, and then maybe we can actually start wrapping it today. I don't know. wrapping it. nearly well we're making progress with the wrap but next step is to remove the ring mirrors might as well show you how to do that because I'm being helpful move it back like that hope you can seal this the mirror you have to sort of push up to the top scary moment sort of push in that top right -hand corner there There we go. La la. Remove that. Remove that. So there's a little screw underneath it. Mine's actually broken off here, but and then this will go more wobbly like that. So inside here, there's a little bolt there. I don't know if you can see. So when you unscrew that, so that bolt, that's there, that's holding in this. And we should just be able to twist it off now. Thank you. 
worst tutorial ever, but it's a good idea to put all your bolts in a little box. So go there for the wing mirror. Yeah. Next stop is removing the door handle. Um, right, I'll show you how to do this. It's not that hard. So there's a little cap in here, you just have to pop out. Then there's a tiny little torx in there, which we'll just remove. Okay, so we're gonna unscrew this, but you don't wanna unscrew it, well, you can unscrew it all the way out. It won't come all the way out. It'll just get to a point where it stops like that. Then what you do after that, you then should be able to, oh, well the caps came off, that shouldn't really happen. There we go, so, can you see that? Yeah, so this pops out like that. Then the handle, what you do, you slide it that to yourself, pull it out, and there you go, handles off, lovely stuff. I'm supposed to be renovating a house, but it's been put on hold because I'm renovating my car. We're nearly there. I mean, we've just got the bumper left, side skirts off, door handles and everything's off. There's parts which I've had to sand down um, because it's left adhesive on there and things like that as well. Um, but I'm not really too bothered about the paintwork underneath anyway because it is, it is all mix, mix, mix and match colors underneath. We've just got the bumper to go. Once we've got the bumper to go, we will get the wrap out and we'll start wrapping the car but guys remember if you are enjoying the content up to now make sure you click subscribe plenty more to come i'm looking forward to actually getting the wrap out and um showing you guys the new color so let's carry on It's outside. I'll explain these sanded down bits and these primers bits in a minute. But there it is, completely down. Obviously, this is the other side. Silver door, white wing. So we ran into a bit of problem. Um, because the paint is quite damaged underneath, of course, when I was peeling off the uh, wrap, which uh, Baz obviously told me to take my time doing, what I should have been doing is really heating it a bit more, but because the paint's quite damaged underneath anyway, it's peeled off some of the, the lacquer. Um, so, as you can see here, some of the clear coat on top of the paint has come off. So, we're having to sand it down, um, and then we're going to re clear coat the top and then wrap over it so you won't be able to see it when you wrap over the top. But obviously, you guys know the history of the Audi TT. If you don't, in the top right corner but on any other car um if you, providing you've got decent paintwork and everything like that as well then you you wouldn't should never have this problem of peeling off the wrap and it should happen it shouldn't happen like this so that is it guys so the car is obviously because of the paint this is uh now had it's been re lacquered over it's nice and smooth it's just because of the paintwork underneath it's not very good it's the old car it's the sort of stuff we have to do. Obviously, if this, um, I guess, was if this was a customer's car here, they'd have to, um, they'd have to really, ideally, be in for and get the whole bonnet re-clear coated. But it's it's a T, it's the TT. Obviously, we know the history of it. It's my car. I'm not too fussed. Hopefully, we're going to get it looking really good this time with the TT. I'm excited to see what the colour will look like on the car. I can see the wrap behind me, it does look really, really good. The next video on the TT will be 
putting the new wrap on and you will get to see the colour as well whilst I'm putting it on. So make sure you click subscribe for that. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the TT videos and you don't want me to get rid of it. Because I'm I'm thinking it's probably worth keeping it after this. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video guys. Peace.